this video, we will be talking about how to prepare and get ready for Army basic training. Before we get started, right, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to more military content and just overall health and fitness content ideas. So uh, I'm going to hit on at least 10 points. I'm going to make this as quick as possible. And I'm going to tie in a little story to kind of each one of these steps to make sure that you're fully prepared for Army basic training. This is one question I've been getting a lot and I kind of want to do long form content to help people out that are getting ready to join the military or for people that just want to strengthen their, their PT or make sharpen their mindset or just, just be an overall better soldier, right? Or you can just share this with your friends. So first thing first, right? Our first thing is get in shape. If you were an athlete in high school or in college, army basic training will be a piece of cake for you. But if you are not an athlete and you are just kind of just going with the flow in life, I highly recommend you getting shape. Do not go to basic combat training thinking that they're going to get you in shape. They will get you in shape, but it's going to be hell trying to get through. Quick story, um, for me, you know, I played football, basketball, track, tennis, and basic training was a breeze for me. I scored the highest on the ACFT in our company, and I was one of the top 10% soldiers there. Uh, but for other people that didn't work out beforehand, it was hell for them. Like they always slowed down the team. Uh, they were always picked on too because they weren't as strong and strong enough. Um, and it shouldn't be like that, but sometimes it is like that. So I recommend, you know, just start running at least a mile or two miles a day and do some, you know, strength training like from push ups, sit ups, chin ups. I will post the actual army the new acft standard down below in the link in the description because it is not the same as doing the push-ups sit-ups and the two mile run it's not that anymore we do deadlifts we do hand release push-ups the ball toss we do um a three minute plank and we do a sprint track carry and then we do a two mile right so that is the new army acft video uh i will also post another video about that after this one i will also post another video about the army acft and that will probably be in the link in the description below so you can tell be prepared the next part would be your nutrition right most people don't really think about this when it comes to like getting ready for the army but your nutrition is going to play a vital role in just maintaining uh, your athleticism your endurance a good mindset a good mental space so that way you're not you know have brain fog so you can actually retain the information and the tasks and the duties that are given to you by our leadership so, you know, I highly recommend that you start eating some lean proteins, that you start incorporating some whole grains into your diets, incorporate some fruits, incorporate some vegetables, avoid excess sugars and excess uh, fatty foods. Like stay away from fast foods if you're getting ready for basic training because it's just gonna slow you down, right? Next part is hydration. Make sure you're just staying hydrated throughout the whole entire time. Like if you, if you've been through the army already, you know we have a camel bag. A camel bag is just a backpack filled with water and you literally take that thing everywhere you go, right? So you will have a hydration system on you wherever you go throughout basic training and AIT, but make sure you start incorporating drinking water right now uh, because it can help you out tremendously. One thing that is not really talked about in a bunch of YouTube that I kind of want to touch on right now is mental preparation, right? Prepare your mindset. The army does a really good job of pushing you to the point of where you don't want to be pushed to, then you realizing like, wow, I can be pushed a little bit further and further and further and further. So prepare your mindset for that, right? It's going to be tough. It's going to be an experience. It's going to be a great experience. It's going to be an experience like you never experienced before, but it's also going to be super, super hard because you'll be in a bay, um, basically a room with 60 other guys sleeping. You'll be cool with some guys. Some guys will just hate your guts. <laughs> That's just the way it is. But just prepare your mindset. I highly recommend doing some type of meditation, some visualization, or even affirmations to program your mindset already in the environment of being in basic training and doing well. So that way when you do go to basic training, it's a breeze for you, right? And everything I'm sharing with you guys, I did for myself. And like I said, I was one of the top soldiers in our platoon, in our company. So these tips work. So make sure you guys incorporate these tips. Next thing, familiarize yourself with the Army Corps values, with customs and courtesies, with simple drills and tasks um, of what to expect. So 
I'm Army National Guard. Uh, we have this thing called RSP, uh, and they do a great job of doing um, our facing movements, knowing the rank structure, knowing you know how to talk, how to stand, position of attention, position of parade rest, uh, whenever you're talking to officers or enlisted. And most people go into the Army active duty and they don't know this, so it's kind of like they're thrown into the Army. But we do a really good job about that here in the National Guard, about for preparing our soldiers for Army combat training. And whenever you're prepared, your drill sergeants look at you like, wow, like this kid's a real leader. Um, and they, they put you in leadership positions. And, and if you're active duty, and if you're not getting that, I highly recommend looking something up on Google. I'll post some more helpful tips down in the description below uh, to help you guys succeed, right? Um, my next point, I kinda wanna touch on a story real quick. I had a guy, right, that wasn't mentally fit, men mentally prepared and like it was tough for him it was tough for some of the females too like some people really break down crying um just being away from family and they don't think they're gonna be away from family that long and they don't expect guys to talk to you know just guys like guys we talk to each other differently than we talk to females it's like football locker room right um that's how it is that's just how it is um but you know at the end of it he did great and he became a fully fledged american united states soldier so that was awesome so one thing I also want to talk about right now is doing your research, right? Do your research about the branch of the Army service. Do your research about your job before you pick your MOS. Uh, most people go into it and they just want to hurry up and get in. People usually join because of inspiration or desperation. I know I joined because of desperation because my girlfriend at the time was pregnant with our baby boy. I was like, I need to join so I can provide for my family, which I did and I still am to this day. And I'm, I'm I'm blessed. I'm so blessed and highly favored to do that. But I wish I would have done more of my research as far as uh, school, as far as the job. Uh, I love my job right now, but I would pick a different job going into the Army. Um, most of the time, you don't even do your job depending on what you pick, but just do your research, right? And most, most people, right, kind of have a problem with this next one. Some people don't, but the next topic I want to touch on is following orders, right? If you're like me and you were a rebellious child and you didn't listen to your CW5 father or your, your mother that was prior service, you know, basic training is gonna be kind of tough for you uh, because I don't like it when people tell me to do things and I gotta kind of just have to shut up and sit there and do it. But if you listen to orders, right, and if you do what they say, basic training will be smooth sailing for you. Trust me, just listen, shut up, do as you're told, get it done with. It's a small p part of your life and you'll be better for it trust me um <laughs> nice so for the next one all right i think i got two more two more right a couple more actually so pack smart pack smart basic training they're gonna give you everything you need don't wear flip-flops don't wear cowboy boots because you'll be standing up getting your stuff and it's just like you're in cowboy boots or you're in flip-flops your feet are gonna hurt they're gonna blister up wear some running shoes wear some jeans wear an army t-shirt pack three shirts three draws three shorts three um sweatpants if you're going in the winter time and you'll be you'll be good and you'll be squared away trust me you want to stay informed stay informed of what's going on in the world do your own research like i said make sure you're you're on time uh, make sure you're very on time because if you're not on time if you're not in the right place right uniform that's like what we, that's like what we like to say in the army be in the right place right uniform at the right time right you will regret it trust me and not only you but your whole platoon your whole company will regret it so make sure you're at the right place at the right time at in the right uniform um throughout the whole entire time in basic and even before basic getting ready to go to basic right get plenty of rest get plenty of rest i wish i would have done this before basic combat training because you will have this thing called fire guard where you have to stay up for a whole hour throughout the night uh literally at 2 to 3 a.m or from 12 to 1 a.m and literally just pull security around your bay and you're gonna be waking up super early you're gonna be staying up super late sometimes and <laughs> you want to make sure you get as much rest as you possibly can it could be exciting getting ready for basic training but trust me i regretted not getting the sleep that i needed to go to basic combat training right Mental and emotional support. Make sure you have a good mental emotional support system, whether that's your girlfriend, whether that's your mom and your dad, whether that's your boyfriend, whoever it is, just make sure you have that. 
if you don't have that going in, that's okay. Find a cool battle buddy that you click with and say like, hey bro, like help me get through these tough times and just talk to them all the time. Uh, they'll help you get through those tough times when basic sucks, right? Almost done, y'all. I said two, but we're almost, we're almost there, right? This is the last one. Thank you so much for showing up to the end of the video. Real quick, remember, Army Basic Combat Training is transforming you into a civilian, getting ready to transform into a full-fledged Army American soldier. So make sure that you guys take that with you also. They're going to break you down. Like, that's what it's designed to do. They're going to break you down mentally, physically, spiritually. But what's going to keep you going is that other people are going to be doing it with you too. And some of those people that are going to be doing it with you too are going to be the best friends. The best friends that you have for the rest of your life. I guarantee you, and it always happens. Uh, I went to basic combat training in 2021, um, COVID, right? We all had to wear masks, but I still call it my guys to this day. And we have the, the best conversations ever, right? So I just wanted to say that it's a, it's a development process, right? If you're coming right after high school, be prepared. If you're somebody that's in their 30s, just you know, be prepared physically and mentally. If you're a 20 year old guy like myself, um, just be ready to have some fun. You know, be ready to be yelled at. You know, just take it day by day. Look forward to your meals because it, it makes the journey and it makes it go by a lot smoother, a lot more, a lot more. Um, it, it makes the journey go a lot more smoother, a lot more easier for you to you know graduate at the end of the day. So. If you guys want any more military information, go ahead and click that like button, that subscribe button. Uh, I'll be posting consistently military information for you guys. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I can get to your comment back within the next 24 to 48 business hours. I love you guys and let's stay strong. Let's get it. Peace.